Good morning, entrepreneurs. Uh, today uh, we come to the Yokohama office uh, because you know my uh, Tokyo office. Uh, there's a construction going on in front of my office. So it's too noisy. So, well, I'm talking from the different studio now. And today, uh, topic. Today's topic is you know bank in Japan. How you can raise money from the bank to start your business. To start a business, basically, there's a two way to get money. The first one is get investment, which is capital, and second one uh, is borrow money from the bank. And borrowing money from the bank to start your business it, is very popular for the small and medium-sized company in Japan. To get into the detail, first I want to talk about uh, Japanese banking systems. Uh, basically, there are six types of the bank in Japan. Mega bank, local bank, community bank called the Shinkin, and the governmental bank and the net bank, and also there is a trust bank. Let me explain you one by one. The first one is mega bank. I think many people knows about this bank. Basically, there are three mega banks in Japan. The first one is uh, Tokyo Mitsubishi a UFJ. The second one is Mizuho Bank, the third one is Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation, and they have own color. The Mitsubishi is uh, red for the corporate color, and the blue for Mizuho, and the green for the Mitsui Banking. They're, you know, they're the very large financial uh, conglomerate, and they have like all have the headquarters in Tokyo, uh, but uh, they have like uh, branches in all over the Japan and overseas. For example, in the case of Mizuho, there is a forty in you know, four hundred twenty one you know branch in Japan and twenty five branches in overseas, and uh, their lending you know amount is seventy trillion Japanese yen, and uh, there are like uh, twenty seven thousand uh, Japanese uh, twenty thousand twenty seven thousand employees. And basically, they're you know lending the money to the big corporation. So, at the early stage of your company, maybe you will not really have the transaction with these banks, but uh, to get to, to borrow your money. But when your company grow and bigger, so you may have like you know more chance to uh, to work with these these banks. And the second types of the bank is local bank. For example, like Yokohama Bank or Chiba banks, uh, they are, you know, they're, they have like headquarters in their local areas and they are more focusing on their, you know, areas uh, and it's like a community-based bank and they are basically, you know, uh, lending the money to the small and medium-sized companies and uh, uh, because they have the quarter and um, headquarter uh, because they are more concentrating on their communities uh, you know you can have the the you can build a good relationship with those bank and that will makes you easier to you know to borrow additional money from these banks and uh, the third type is it's similar to the local bank but actually it is not a bank the community bank called the Shinyo Kinko uh, Shinkin in Japanese. As I said, uh, this is a uh, community bank. is not uh, actually a bank. It's based on the different, you know, different law. For example, banks. The their organization structure, organizational structure is Kabushiki Gaisha called KK. But on the other hand, the Shinkin is a cooperative institution. It's like a non-profit organization by nature, and you know the bank's purposes purposes is to you know maximize the profit to the shareholders. But the Shinkin's you know purposes is uh, to you know to maximize the profit for their members or for their communities, and. You know, for the bank, there is no uh, no limitation for the target areas. Uh, even the local bank can, you know, establish the branches in different uh, in the different uh, areas. But community bank is very focused on that area. They are not gonna, you know, make a branch to the in the other areas. And the customers, uh, the bank can, you know, 
everybody can become a customer of the bank, but the Shinkin to become a customer of the bank, a uh, customer of the Shinkin, you have to either live in the areas or you have to be like employee uh, in that areas or you need to have the office in that areas. Otherwise, you can't use uh, Shinkin in that areas. So it's very you know focused on the uh, the local areas. And the first uh, bank is a governmental bank. The first one, I think you should remember this one, the Japan Finance Institutions, uh, called the Seisaku Kinyu Koko in, in Japanese. Uh, this bank is very important because they are you know, lending the, uh, the money to the startup uh, companies. And there is also Shoko Chukin Bank, that, uh, you know, the bank for the small and medium-sized companies. And the third one is the uh, Developmental uh, Bank of Japan. Uh, this bank is, uh, you know, well, I think basically only for the huge project, like a big, uh, you know, supporting the, the bankruptcy of the big corporation, or sometimes, uh, you know, they, uh, they lend the money for like environmental institutions, uh, environmental like big business supported by the Japanese government. And also there is a fourth type, this Okinawa uh, Development Finance uh, Corporation. That's only for Okinawa, so if you don't have a business in, in Okinawa, you will not have a chance to you know communicate with them. And the last uh, category is uh, Internet Bank and the Trust Bank. The Internet Bank is, uh, you know, of course, it's uh, maybe you, as you know, it just it doesn't have a, like an actual shop or stores. It have it's only available on the internet. They provide the services only in the internet. So uh, because there, you know, the cost is cheap. Uh, the bank commission is cheap. Like when you you know pay the money or receive the monies, and the deposit interest rate is relatively uh, high. But uh, the important things is. You know, the Internet Bank is not actually issued the bank passbook. So when you open the companies, you can't use Internet Bank because to establish the companies, you must have the copy of the bank passbook. So the uh, Internet Bank is not issuing it, so you can't use it to establish the companies. But it's very good to, you know, day-to-day uh, -day operation of your business. And the, uh, the last type is Trust Bank. A trust bank is like you trust or you deposit, uh, you give like uh, the real estate or securities or monetary asset uh, to the trust banks, and the trust bank invests, uh, you know, those things to the others and uh, get money and uh, distribute to you. Uh, so sometimes it used for the inheritance uh, things. So, uh, for the entrepreneurs, uh, you have to remember the three types of the banks. The first one is most important, Japan Finance Institution, and also local bank, and the Shinkin Bank, because they offer uh, the loan to the startup company also. At the, uh, in the next lecture, I will talk about uh, more detail, how actually you can get, uh, how actually you can borrow the money from the banks. So see you next time. I'm giving you the useful information about the business in Japan. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time.